Hi, my name is Laverne Estenal, and I'm the Assistant Director for Human Research Protections at the UC Irvine Office of Research. This video is part three in a three-part series of video user guides on the Office of Research YouTube page. Part one explains general guidelines for submission of clinical trials, registration, and summary results information to clinicaltrials.gov. If you are working on a clinical trial and your funding is from NIH, make sure you watch part two of this series because you need to know the NIH definition of a clinical trial. On the other hand, if your study is not funded by NIH, you need to know the DHHS definition of an applicable clinical trial. So just keep watching. The final rule for clinical trials registration and results information submission provides guidance for submission of required information to clinicaltrials.gov. It's where you'll find the definition of an applicable clinical trial. For drugs or biologics, the DHHS definition covers controlled clinical investigations other than phase one studies of drugs or biological products subject to Food and Drug Administration or FDA regulation. It also covers controlled device trials subject to FDA regulations involving health-related outcomes other than small feasibility studies. It applies to pediatric post-market surveillance of a device product as required by the FDA. To be considered an applicable clinical trial, the study must be conducted at one or more sites in the United States. It must be conducted under an FDA IND, Investigational New Drug Application, or conducted under an IDE, Investigational Device Exemption. The clinical trial must involve a drug, biologic, or device that is manufactured in the United States or its territories and is exported for research. Submission of information on the availability of investigational drugs for expanded access use is also a requirement. The next topic is compliance with the DHHS final rule. There is the potential for substantial civil monetary penalties the withholding of grant funding from DHHS, and criminal proceedings for non-compliance. Another thing, if your clinical trial uses NIH-supported infrastructure, like clinical research services from ICTS, but is not directly funded by NIH, then NIH policy does not apply. Instead, you must adhere to the DHHS final rule. This means Non-compliance may result in withholding of funds from DHHS. If you have questions about this or you'd like to learn more, click on the links that appear below the screen at the bottom of the YouTube page. To learn more about School of Medicine clinical trials, contact Mark Bourbonnet at mbourbon at hs.uci.edu or call him at 949-682-5440. For more information about non-School of Medicine clinical trials, contact me at lsdenal at uci.edu or call me at 949-824-4704. Hope to speak with you soon.